Hi guys, today I'm going to do a real short tutorial video on how to transpose a table or data set or uh, on, on a spreadsheet. Okay, so sometimes you'll get a uh, spreadsheet, you'll inherit it perhaps, or maybe you created it and then later you realize you wanted the column headers, which are these three right here, going across, the row headers, sorry, here you would rather have them going across this way and the actual data or the observations going down on the rows. Traditionally that's how we that's the best most efficient way of uh, visualizing uh, tables because now if I add more and more uh, employees which these are represent employees these are their titles this is their division and these are their salaries if I add more and more employees I'm going to have to scroll to the right and scroll to the left constantly and but it's much less likely that I'm going to add too many more headers so it'd be much easier to see three headers here and all the observations or records here records observations all names for the same thing so so the first thing I will do is I'll count the dimensions of my present table and here the uh, column dimension is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the row dimension is 1, 2, 3 and so I'll highlight somewhere wherever I'm interested in putting this stuff 3 the number of rows as my column dimension and the number of columns which was 8 as my row dimension so the opposite of what we had I'm first just highlighting that. So three columns and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight row dimensions. Okay. Now I'm ready to use the transpose function in Excel. So equals transpose, open parentheses. Then you just simply highlight the old table, close the parentheses, and now you don't just hit enter like array functions you have to do shift control enter and voila what it did was it transposed this table and just basically which what it means is it flipped the column and the rows so the dimensions are exactly the opposite and as I was trying to illustrate earlier and now you can clearly see it's a much more efficient way to view uh, the stuff in, a, in this in this fashion than in the, the original fashion. Sometimes you'll get it like this and you'll, you'll have to convert it like this to this before you want to do any work on the data. Now just imagine if I had tons and tons of data. I just filled that in. It's much easier to scroll and to see multiple lines going down rows than it is to have to scroll right and left. Right? That's spreadsheet 101. Right? Okay. So I hope th hope this was helpful. Actually, one last thing. When you do transpose, notice that in this function, that there's still this fun. Uh, this is this is not exactly values here. This is actually a function itself. It depends on this previous thing. So. If I go ahead and I delete something here, it'll reflect here. So it's still connected to this. So the way you disconnect the two is after you've done the transpose, go ahead and copy, I mean highlight the, the new table that you want to work with. Right click, go to copy, and then go to paste special paste special. Click values and then click OK. Now what this will do is it'll convert everything in here to just as if you typed it in. So when you paste something as a value it's as if you just type that in. So if any of these were formulas they would turn to just the values. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. And uh, if you forget to do this step Excel will be sure to remind you because it won't let you do much with the table until you do that copy paste special and then select values I'll do that once again there's control C paste special select values hit OK 
and then you're good to start working with a brand new table in a much more efficient uh, uh, format. Okay, hope this video was helpful. Uh, make sure you comment, subscribe to my page, and uh, let me know if there's any other uh, topics you want me to cover. Thanks a lot.